Guys, Woo! Damar Randy! What's up, motherfuckers? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! 420 in the yeah. house! Yeah. Right? This is crazy, man. We actually get to celebrate this shit. Woo! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This, this is a new found right. <laughs> and this is the only holiday black people can't bitch about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, well, they ain't made no injustices with the 420 yet, so I'll go ahead and participate. You know what I'm saying? Even the Jehovah Witnesses are like, hey, I don't know if this is really a holiday, nigga, like, you know? That's a Jehovah Witness joke. You gotta be a Jehovah Witness to know that one. <laughs> like, oh, my brother, are you not woke, brother? 420? 420, brother? Put the four and the two together. What you got? Six. How many devils is it? Six, 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 motherfucker. Uh, I don't fuck with no 420, man. Uh, Stupid. <laughs> it is, though. It's a new right. We, we, we can now, we can now some race smoking weed. Yeah. Wow. We come a long way. Right? It's some nigga in prison right now. Piss the fuck off. Uh, it's some... It's some nigga deep in the jail, mad at a motherfucker. I can't believe this shit. That nigga done had to stab like five people in jail now. He ain't never getting now. He started on a recharge. That nigga, he do a push up, piss the fuck off. And he's nigga celebrating this shit. This nigga touching his kids through a window and shit. The same thing we celebrate, that nigga like, I love you little man. <laughs> <laughs> Some wild shit, right? <laughs> yeah, your daddy sold drugs. <laughs> they gotta immediately let those people out, man. Yeah. Like, like now, I don't care if they stab somebody while they was in there. You niggas, you got to do what you got to do while you were in there. Yeah. But if you started with a weed charge, nigga, whatever, we gonna have a few cycles running around. <laughs> but we gotta do what's right, man. You can't, we can't celebrate this shit while there's people being fucking feeding, eating off the plastic trays and shit. You know what I'm saying? Getting an hour of fucking exercise over this shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody is roommate with another dude over this shit. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of y'all niggas roommate with other dudes, but, <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, man? Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> you can't even go for a walk. At least, you know what? You know what would be true progress, though? What would be true progress? As if niggas in jail get to start smoking weed. Yeah. Yeah. Man, like, you know how much shit... <laughs> We, niggas would, n the violence in jail would go down tremendously if everybody was high as fuck. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Fucking sex crimes against other inmates would go down, nigga. I'm not too high to be raping somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, just give them all weed. It's legal. Let them have it in jail, too. Yeah. Right? Shit. What an easy sentence, nigga. I might be, I might fuck it. Niggas doing bad right now. <laughs> I know I can get a bed. Some clean clothes and a sack of weed, nigga. Fuck it, I'm going to jail. <laughs> That's the only thing. Yeah, once you throw weed into jail, now it's now it's a fucking day camp. <laughs> now it's a dope day camp. I mean, it already kind of is if you like to fight, but. <laughs> I don't know why them MMA dudes don't just go to prison, nigga. You can just train all day. <laughs> they over here fighting innocent people at the bar and shit, nigga. Take your, go to gladiator school, nigga. That's what we call prison in the hood. Gladiator school, nigga. Go ahead, go. Get you some cauliflower ear. <laughs> Mixed martial arts don't have the same meaning, nigga, when, when uh, it's four niggas on you. <laughs> go to 
just suit. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fuck the police. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Yo. <laughs> I'm not like like obsessed with working out, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not that I'm not that cat, right? You know, like but like I definitely have like a fitness goal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I have a I have a fitness goal, right? You know what I'm saying? And I hate working out around people that don't have a fitness goal. You know what I'm saying? They're just at the gym. Or on the track. You know what I'm saying? That's what I hate the most. I hate people running on the track all hella slow and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like what? What are you going to do with that pace of running? And like, like how is that practical to your life? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it is nothing for you. Like, like for me, like, my personal fitness goal is to always be in police chase shape. That's my goal. <laughs> I just want to be in police chase shape. That's it. You know what I'm saying? When I go to the track, when I go to the track, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing this shit. <laughs> When I'm at the track, nigga, I run at the pace as if a German Shepherd was chasing me. You know what I'm saying? Oh Visualize that. <laughs> oh, shit, nigga! It's practical. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use that shit. <laughs> I, got a, I got like a police chase, police chase shape workout. You know what I'm saying? Got to do a little bush work. You know what I'm saying? Get, get low. You know what I'm saying? Move side to side. You never know when you got to hit that little corner. You know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. It's all footwork, baby. <laughs> Might have to do some... I'll do some, I'll do some gate climbing. You know what I'm saying? You got to do some gate climbing. You never know when you got to hit a fence on them real quick. I just want to be able to beat the most... Uh, if, if I get pulled over by the out-of-shape cop, I'm running. Yeah. I feel like it's my duty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're going to enforce some shit, you got to be able to enforce it, nigga. <laughs> That's why I don't be like, you know, female cops, I don't give them no respect. I'm like, so, I, I mean, I'm just going to have to comply, bitch, because you can't make me do shit. <laughs> 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 oh I have to be in a good mood. That's the only way you're going to get to get your job done today, right? <laughs> you can tase me, bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that shit don't hurt. But it's kind of sexy when you get pulled over by a police cop, a female cop, you know. Because I just hear her say everything sweetly. Can you please put your hands up? <laughs> put your hands where I can see them. I'm like, oh shit, girl. I'm like, what are you telling me what to do? <laughs> I'm like, what are you do? Stupid. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I, oh, why why do the police make you do hella yoga before they arrest you, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, put your hands in the air. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> put your hands behind your head. <laughs> Get down on one knee. I'm like, nigga, this is the warrior two pose. I know what the fuck you <laughs> What the fuck you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here, man? Hey, hey, you gonna arrest me, man, or we gonna keep doing these damn yoga? What's the fuck? <laughs> Alright, downward facing dog! Downward facing dog! <laughs> downward facing dog! They <laughs> just be shouting out yoga positions and shit. <laughs> Tense, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be wanting to keep a little massage coupon on me and shit. I get pulled over by the police, I give them my ID and a massage coupon. <laughs> I keep massage coupons right by my ID, and I'm like, Oh, how you doing, officer? Shut the fuck out. What if, what if all black men had like massage coupons in their waistband? So anytime we got shot, be like, man, I was trying to give a massage <laughs> coupon, nigga. I was reaching for my massage coupon when I was shot by the police in broad daylight. <laughs> Stupid.
Excuse my ignorance. I went to Calvary College. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I think the police can do a better job with the way they announce shit. You know what I'm saying? I think the way they announce shit is terrible. Like they, they when after the police shoot shit, they never say the right thing. You know what I'm saying? They never say the right thing. They always walk up to the podium. Uh, yeah, it was a sad day today. One of our officers had to kill a piece of shit. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're terribly, ter we're terribly hurt by the fact that we had to, we had to shoot, we had to waste bullets on that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> They, they, they couldn't. Here's what they should say. Here's what they should say. All, listen, in all police departments, this is what you say after the shoot. It was a terrible tragedy. We hate to have to happen. We, we are a part of the community. When you hurt, we hurt. This is a terrible day for everyone because we are a part of you guys. Thank you. It's so simple, nigga. And then, and then maybe they could just like, you know, maybe like, hey, uh, well, on behalf of the community, we apologize, and uh, we're part of the community, and that's why we brought out for you guys today a barbecue catering truck. <laughs> Niggas be like, damn, all right, <laughs> shit. Uh, is that is that the KC Memphis barbecue, nigga? <laughs> uh, okay, all right. <laughs> hey, 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 Lieutenant, Captain, your Majesty, whatever fuck your name is, uh. Hey, uh, uh, who made this potato salad? <laughs> Look, either we need, either you need to fire that officer, or I need a recipe to this shit. Nigga. God damn! <laughs> Stupid. Y'all know the, um, y'all know the police. Uh, you know the. <laughs> Hold on. It's four twenty. Fuck y'all. Yeah. <laughs> You know the KKK changed their uniform colors? Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, now it's, it's uh, black and blue. Yeah. <laughs> Comes with a badge and a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case y'all didn't know. <laughs> y'all got any more police shit for y'all? Oh, nigga, look. Here, I, so I've been getting pulled over hella much lately, right? It's my fault, but <laughs> Hey, you ever get you I, I get I get uh I get uh, racially profiled all the time. The only problem is is them niggas be making good guesses when they fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean hey you race that was all right, you got me nigga, but you know what I'm saying, it was a good guess. It was a good guess. <laughs> it was a good guess. I look like I, I got a warrant. I look like it. I look like <laughs> But you didn't know I had one, motherfucker. <laughs> I just look like it. <laughs> so I take all the power away from them now when they fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me see a license and registration. I'm like, hey, I ain't got none of that shit. I ain't got a license. I ain't got a registration. I ain't got no insurance. I got nothing. They're like, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Uh, well, well, <laughs> do, do you have an ID? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got an ID. <clears throat> do you have any warrants? I'm like, man, I just clear all my shit up, dog. Like, I'm fucking uh, uh, like, all right, I'm going to go to the car, man, and fucking, you know, I'll, I'll let you know what fucking happens, all right? That's when you go to the car. And that moment, as soon as he goes to the car and you got to wait for him to come back, everything just flashes in your eyes. You're like, oh, shit. I gotta take my dog out to piss. If he take me to jail right now, my dog gonna shit all over the house. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my shit at the cleaners. <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> then he comes back, you know what I'm saying? And the reason why you gotta do that is because if, you, if you're if you honest up front, it takes out all the police work for them. That's what they wanna do is go look it all up and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Because I used to lie, right? Like, oh, man, I don't know. I think I got a license, man. I think I got a registration, man. Something happened to it. And then they come back. You lied to me, man. I got to punch you in the back. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so now I just tell, tell my mind I got shit down. From the beginning. I'm like, look, man, I ain't shit. But I'm honest. Yo, wow. Okay, here we go. You ready for another one? You ready for another one? Yeah. On. Woo. I got some heat in here for y'all. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I really do. This either, but I got some. Hey. Oh, Victor's over there dying. <laughs> What's going on, man? Oh, you're killing it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Okay. So, you know, when you ain't driving, when you, how many people got a, how many people drive with a suspended license right now? Make some noise. <laughs> no, just me. All right, cool. <laughs> well, when you drive, well, when you, when your shit's all fucked up, man, if you see a police officer, I don't give a fuck what Google was telling you to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, when you see a police officer, I don't give a fuck what Google, Google be like, I go straight. Go straight. Uh, Go straight. I'm like, bitch, I just had to swerve from the police officer. We are now going right, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you reroute. <laughs> you gotta make I gotta make Google reroute and I'm like, bitch, damn. Y'all know how to y'all know what the police swerve is? Shit. <laughs> so now I see a cop, I'm changing my sense of direction immediately. I'm like, oh, I think I'm going this way now. <laughs> I hate when they be at the 7-Eleven, man. That should be bothering me. <coughs> you know when you like trying to go get some blunts and then it's the police at the liquor store? You're like, yeah. God damn, uh, man. Why y'all at the damn liquor store at 12 o'clock at night? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't somebody robbing purses or something, nigga? <laughs> you fucking up my blunts. Because you can't even go in there and get blunts. <laughs> it don't matter if you high or not high. They like, this nigga about to be high. <laughs> <laughs> to be high when you buy them. They're just like, he about to get high. No, <laughs> nobody buys blunts and don't bring the weed with them. You know? <laughs> right? You're like, hey, I left the weed at the house. I'm just going to go run and get some blunts real quick. Nope, nigga. It's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot buy blunts. <laughs> Why don't niggas be trying to talk to me, man? I hate that shit. They try to be friendly. They try to be friendly. I see it like a Bloods in the Crip scenario. I don't know how they see it. <laughs> <laughs> this is how serious I am about my, my disdain. Do you like that? You like, <laughs> count the count. <laughs> my disdain for the uh, law enforcement. My uncle used to work for the uh, Inglewood PD, He's a motorcycle officer. And he bought me my first Nintendo. And then, this nigga died in the line of duty. And I still was like, Shh. I don't know if I don't go. <laughs> that nigga was still a police officer. <laughs> I mean, he was my uncle, but he was a cop, too. That's like having like a molester in your family, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got, you got like a molester in your family. Like, do you visit them in jail, nigga? Or you just like, you gonna have to do your time alone, bro. <laughs> yeah, hey, my cousin went to jail for child rape, but I had to write him a letter, nigga. I was just like, okay, bro, uh, protect yourself. <laughs> Sit that nigga some boxing gloves. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I got pieces of shit in my family, but you know they don't go that far. They just being AA all the damn time. Shit. Uh. <laughs> nigga, my family been in rehab so much, nigga. I've been in rehab without ever doing any of them drugs. Uh. Nigga, people in AA want you to come come to all their damn meetings with them and shit. Like, nigga, you getting your life together, nigga. If I keep going to these damn meetings, I ain't gonna have no money. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just be sucking dick for rent, which is way worse. <laughs> Stupid. 
as a kid, man. Anybody, no, I don't know. Anybody sober in here? Nah. Four <laughs> twenty. Fuck no. Yeah, it's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Like you should never do that shit. Don't be a quitter like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? They're put here on the earth to numb you of your pains. You know what I'm saying? Just do your shit too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Amen. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's better than be. It's better than be out high as fuck doing. Doing shit, you know. Eventually, people don't know when you hide no more. Right? Yeah. If you if you so, that's why you gotta go to the interview high. Yeah. Because then they know that they think that's your face all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you go in there hella sober, then the next time you hide, they're like, oh, you look high. I'm like, nigga, I was high the first time you saw me. I am regular, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> uh, <fuck it. laughs> hey, don't come to work high tomorrow. I'm like, nigga, I ain't got high in a long time. I still smoke, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> nigga, I smoke, nigga. <laughs> I smoke your ass to bed. <laughs> I've been smoking that long. Anybody else get that high? Just me? Yeah. You don't even feel it no more. You're just like, I'm just putting something in my body right now. <laughs> Feels like it's helping something. <laughs> I can't explain what it is because I'm not a scientist. But I know what feels good. <laughs> Stupid. This guy, I like this guy. Welcome, man, from Texas, right? That's so tight. I always wanted to be a country boy. But I grew up in Compton. We had, we had like two horses, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like two horses in Compton. What? Yeah. Uh, it's horses in Compton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he know I'm not bullshitting. It's yeah. horses. <laughs> and it's hood niggas riding them. <laughs> you, you, you think you scared of hood niggas riding around in cars, nigga? Uh, <laughs> See a hood nigga on a, ca- on a fucking horse, know, nigga. <laughs> hey, nigga, what you doing over here? Because now they can follow you if you in a car. Or if you on foot, nigga, because the horse can you really can't get away from a nigga on a horse, man. You cannot get away from a nigga on a horse. Because <laughs> the, the horse can hit the sidewalk too, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now you over here fucking getting chased by a sea biscuit on the block, nigga. <laughs> Shout out to the cop the cowboy. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Do I sock this nigga on a horse? <laughs> You ain't never had to sock a horse in the mouth, nigga, for your own freedom, nigga. Like, <laughs> too <bad. laughs> You're like, hey, nigga, where you from? I'm like, all right, man. I think this nigga is on the set, too. He's <laughs> square up, nigga. <laughs> nigga, them horses in Compton they look like crackheads too, though. They're like, missing teeth and shit. <laughs> I love crackheads, man. Most of my family is crackheads, you know what I'm saying? That's why it's amazing that I'm here right now. Y'all don't know, y'all don't know where I came from. <laughs> y'all don't know who was telling me shit. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Most people have like good role models around them. I did not have any good role models. <laughs> but when you don't have good role models, all it does is you just learn how to filter through bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're like, okay, I can't do nothing with that information. You just mean. <laughs> like, like you got a crackhead uncle and he talking to you, you know what I'm saying? He will give you uncle advice, but it's going to be from a crackhead perspective. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you got to like filter through it, right? Here's an example. <laughs> Here's an example, right? My uncle like, nigga, you gotta get your goddamn life together, nigga. You gotta get your goddamn life together, nigga. Do what you need to do, nigga. If you need to go get you some goddamn cans, nigga, and put them in a motherfucking bag until you get you enough, nigga, to buy you a little cell phone, get you a little bitch with a cell phone, nigga. Get you a little bitch with a cell phone, nigga, go get you some goddamn cans, nigga, save up till you on your goddamn feet. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do the cans part, nigga. But I feel you. <laughs> I feel you, you know. I'll take the rest of that advice. I do need a bitch with a cell phone. 
<laughs> you got you, you got a point there. I'll give you one. You, gotta, <laughs> you know how to filter through bullshit. You know, like growing up, growing up in Compton, like uh, uh, I heard of, I heard of these machines called white noise machines, right? They just make like sh like noises like for white people who can sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You ever heard of that? It's called a white noise. It's, for, it's white people that they need to sleep with this like fucking. It sounds like static on the TV or some shit, right? But there's in the hood. There's black noise. There's black noise, nigga. Like, like, like I can't sleep. I can't sleep without some gunshots, a helicopter, and a motherfucking crackhead asking where his money at. You know what I'm saying? Coming through the window. Hey, nigga, where my motherfucking money at? God damn it, stop playing me. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I can't sleep without that shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I can't sleep in pure silence, nigga. That's scary. <laughs> I need to hear some fucking couple arguing, nigga. <laughs> bitch, that's what I told you to you, use your motherfucking lips, bitch. <laughs> You hear that muffled through the wall. You ever been in a ghetto ass apartment, nigga? You can hear people arguing through uh, yeah. No, you, you need to help around here, too. You know what I'm saying? I need that. I need that. I need them gunshots going off. You know what I'm saying? It just puts you at peace. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> White people can't sleep. They can't if, if they hear a fucking peep. They can't sleep. They they, they need all kind of help sleeping. That's that's how you know you got too much money when you can't sleep, nigga. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, broke people are always going to sleep. We like shit. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go to the next day. <laughs> I'm just tap on this. I'm just in this day early. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll wake up the next day. Should be here. Maybe that that one would be better. Oh, like my home, my, I got a white homie, his name Tom. This nigga called me one day mad about some shit. He go, hey, DeMar, I fucking can't sleep, man. I'm like, what's going on? He's like, he's like my fucking neighbor keeps fucking popping popcorn at fucking 12 o'clock at night. And it's driving me fucking nuts. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. <laughs> That sounds terrible, man. He's like, shit, I'm not. I'm like, what you gonna do? I'm thinking about call, calling the other city manager's office in the morning and see if we can have some type of popcorn popping on the next. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stupid. Wow. Uh -huh. Okay. My name's Marmini. Thank you very much. Yeah!